Ellie De La Cruz is very fast. This breakdown is brought to you by SeatGeek. Ellie De La Cruz, very fast. If you go to his baseball savant page, you'll see that he's ranked one in base running value, 93%. If you go to his baseball reference page, you'll find out that he has 40 stolen bases on the season, which leads baseball. He's got seven caught stealings, and three of those were actually pickoffs, but I won't dive into that because it's a whole web. Unfortunately, I got into the weeds. I've spent two days digging into Ellie De La Cruz stolen base numbers because I want to find out, does he steal every time he has an opportunity? He has to steal just every time he has the opportunity to steal. He has to steal. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? So, at first I thought, this is easy. I'll take all of his hits, his walks, every time he reached on an error or fielder's choice, and then divide that by every time he stole or got caught stealing. But... That's not real because in that hits category, they're home runs. And you can't steal a base after hitting a home run. You're punished. You go right back to the dugout. You don't get to have fun as a base runner if you hit a home run. Or there are triples. And if you hit a triple, sure, it's an opportunity to steal home, but that's not expected. And sometimes it's not even encouraged. Oftentimes, I like it. I'd like you to do it. But I'm not counting that against him if he doesn't steal when he hits a triple. There are also times where he gets walked and there's a runner already on base, so there's someone ahead of him. He's on first base, but there's a slow guy on second. Or he's on second base and there's another runner on third. That's not a stolen base opportunity for Ellie De La Cruz, so I got to weed those out. Then there's also all the times he does try to steal, but the pitcher hits the batter with the ball. So it gets nullified or the batter fouls the ball back. So those are times that he did attempt to steal, but they're not going down in the caught stealing or the stolen base category. So I went deep diving. Okay. I got charts. I got graphs. I got tables and I have all the footage you need. I got every time he reached first base and there was not a runner ahead of him on second base. A true stolen base opportunity for Ellie Day LaCruz. I've got every time he got walked or hit and there was no one on base. So he gets the first and no one's ahead of him. I also went and I got every time he hit a double or a single with an error and got to second base and there was no one on third. So that's what I'm counting as a stolen base opportunity. How many times did he get on base and he was standing on first and there was no one on second or he was standing on second and there was no one on third. That's the first number I sought out and his stolen base opportunities on the season 80. Okay. But then I thought, well, what if the first pitch of the at bat when he's on first base or second base, the batter puts in play or the pitcher hits the batter? Is that really an opportunity? He only had one pitch, and it was the very first pitch. I don't think I can hold that against him. Uh, he, He should have time to watch the pitcher once and see the rhythm and the mechanics of it if he wants. So I found out all the times that he got on base, and then the very first pitch of the next at bat got put in play. That happened six times, okay? One time, we had the batter get hit by a pitch, We had another where the batter hit a double, another where the batter hit a single. So we had six times where the very first pitch, as soon as he reached the base, the next pitch canceled out the opportunity. I'm not holding them against him. So that lowers my number to 74. Stolen base opportunities. 74 times he was on the base paths with a stolen base opportunity. Okay. So now we need to go find all the stolen base attempts. He was standing there. As the pitcher released the ball, he takes off. Either it results in a stolen base, it results in a caught stealing, it could be a hit, it could be the batter gets hit by a pitch, it could be ball four of the at-bat, it could be strike three to end the inning, could be anything. But all I care about is he started running when the pitcher delivered the pitch. That's what I'm calling a stolen base attempt. And I already told you he had 74 stolen base 
opportunities. Up until this point, July 3rd, he has had 74 stolen base opportunities. He has had... 71 stolen base attempts. So damn near, on average, yeah, he runs almost every time he's on base. But that doesn't mean he's literally ran every time he's on base. It means close to, on average, 71, 74. There have been 30 times he didn't run. He had the chance to. He didn't. So that means there's been multiple times where he took off, the ball was fouled back, or something happened, had to go back to the base. Took off again, had to go back to the base. I wanted to see how many times has that happened. What's the most amount of times he's gone, didn't count? There have been 16 times where he had two stolen base attempts on one opportunity. So on this one, you can see there's two outs. He steals second base. He's safe. And then it's the same inning, same opportunity. He steals third, successful again. That's two stolen base attempts in one stolen base opportunity, one turn around the base paths. He has a lot of those. He did that again here. Two outs, he's on first, steals second, safe. And then the next at bat, he's going to steal third. And guess what? They throw it away, so he scores. Two outs, runner on first. All of a sudden, he just scores. That's Ellie De La Cruz. This time, he stole second base in there just barely, and then he attempted to steal third, but batter fouled it back, and then he didn't get another chance. But that's still right there. Two stolen base attempts in one opportunity. Here's another time. He steals second, don't even get a throw off. And then right afterwards, three pitches later, he's off and he steals third base. Safe. This is your more traditional two attempts. First time, got fouled back. He runs the second, has to redo it. Waits, says, I still feel like stealing though. The next pitch is in the dirt. He steals again. He's in there. So there have been 16 opportunities with two attempts. 16 times he's tried to steal, had to try again, or successfully stole twice in one opportunity. How many times has he had to do it? Three times? Three. And I was like, I was hoping there would be more. But you can see right here on this 01 pitch, he's off and it's fouled back. Are they going to catch it? No. Then two pitches later, 2-2 two, two count, he's off. He's running, but it's fouled back again. He doesn't give up 3-2 now, running again, but that's ball four. So that's not a stolen base, but that's three pitches in that one opportunity that he attempted to run on. So that time it was three, and he came up empty, just gassed. He did get to second, though. There's this one where one-two pitch, he's running, has to go back, foul ball. Then one-two pitch again, he's running, he grabs the bag, but they rule Batter interference, so he has to go back because Steer's bat hit Adley's back right there. The replay showed him making contact. So he has to go back. That's two attempts, one opportunity. The very next pitch, he's like, all right, I don't care about that. Steals on the first pitch, gets it. So that's another time there was one opportunity, three attempts. And the third time he did three in a row, the first pitch, the 1-0, is put in play to center. So he's got to run back. He can't tag up on that. Even if uh, if he wasn't stealing, maybe he tries to tag up on that. One attempt. Next batter comes up, 1-0 pitch. He's running there, has to go back. Slides, does the whole thing. Then the 1-1, he's off again. It's in the air. And that is going to be the third out. Ends the inning. So three times he sprinted off first base for the attempt, comes up empty, uh, doesn't get a steal. I then said, wait, I want to look at all the times he didn't run. Is there a factor here? Is there something going on? Sometimes, only a few, it was the score. It's like nine to one. They're winning by too much. Uh, That doesn't matter. How many times has it hurt him? Of the 30 times he had the opportunity to run and he didn't run, how many times did it hurt him? A couple, a couple didn't matter. Like the first time I saw it, he ends up going first to third on a ground ball to the shortstop. 
Next time he does get stranded, eight pitches, lefty pitcher. A lot of them were lefty pitchers, but some righty pitchers. Uh, another time he goes first to third on a single. A bunch of times he did that. Sometimes the catcher's back picked at first base, and that kept him at bay. That actually worked. Of the 30 times he had the opportunity to go, he didn't go. Five of them resulted in double plays. If he's running, they probably don't. So just go, man. Sometimes he saw a catcher more than once or they backpicked and stuff like that. But for the most part, he's running a lot. So there's some numbers. The last thing I looked at was what was his longest stretch of having the opportunity to steal and taking it, attempting. And I found this stretch from May 4th to May 21st. He started 15 games. He played in 16 games. Over the course of those games, he had 11 stolen base opportunities and 18 stolen base attempts and had an attempt on every opportunity. For 16 game stretch for most of May, if he got the opportunity, he was on base. There was no one ahead of him. Boom, he was off. So, does this matter? And is this info useful? No. Was it brought to you by SeatGeek where you can use code JOMBOY15 to get 15% off any tickets, whether you're a new customer or not? Yes. Did I enjoy? Being in these weeds, sorting it out? Yes. Did the 71 attempts off of 74 opportunities blow my mind? Yes. Did it kind of get dulled a little bit when I found 41 of the 71 he actually attempted? Just some had multiples and 30 he didn't? Yes. Did you enjoy the video? Well, then subscribe and comment and, and like it. And I do... I do breakdowns like this that are more in the weeds statistical on Jimmy's Three Things, which is on the Talking Baseball channel or any podcast. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya.